Okay, we're uh, working on telecast tonight with the Mislu Television Network and ESPN, and Mislu will have a sideline reporter at times during the game, so you'll see him, but you won't hear him. So uh, here's the kickoff to start the game. The kickoff to the three-yard line, taken there, 5-10 on the outside. Oh, as he hit at the eight-yard line. Boy, BYU got down there in a big hurry that time. That was Kelly Smith, I think, from BYU. No nine also there for Brigham Young Ladenko. The key to that play for BYU is a beautiful high kick by Lee Johnson over into the corner. Missouri had a, a, a return set up to the left side, and there, he had to go clear across the field. Because that kick was so high, it gave BYU people a chance to get down there. Nice job of coverage by them. Here's the start of the game then with Missouri starting on the eight yard line. Their quarterback is Mar uh, Marlon Adler, number 10. They run out of the eye formation, the first offensive play of the game. First and 10 from their own eight yard line. Hand off to the fullback. He's over the 10, maybe the 11 yard line. The crowd tonight, they're expecting 56,000. I don't know if there are quite that many here, but by far and large, it'll be a pro BYU crowd. Certainly will. Looking around the stands, you can see a lot of blue, a lot of blue pom-poms, people wearing blue. Not so many people wearing the yellow from Missouri. Second down, about seven for the Missouri team. They have the ball on their own 10-yard line. The game just getting underway tonight, the Holiday Bowl. BYU's won two bowl games and lost three here in the Holiday Bowl. They've been the only team to ever play in the Holiday Bowl from the WAC. Second down play. Again, it's the fullback and not much gain. Excellent job that time by BYU's defense. Right before the snap of the ball, BYU's defense shifted to the left to Missouri's strong side, and uh, they were able to get a lot of people in there and just block that hole off. Brandon Flint and Todd Shell have been great football players at BYU this year, combined for the tackle, so it's third down on the 12-yard line. Eric Drain was the ball carrier. Third down. They still need about six yards for a first down. Adler, a long count, gives on the draw, skirting to the outside, and they have it, and then some. Well, he slipped to the outside, and Morrell made the tackle for BYU as John Red picks up the first down. BYU had him in the hole, let him slip out of it. Sure did a good job by Adler that time of faking the pass play and, and handing it off on the draw. BYU was looking pass all the way, and, and Missouri was able to pick up a nice first down. First and 10, Missouri on their own 23-yard line. Remember, they were in the hole, started on the eight-yard line on this drive. No score, first offensive series of the football game. Adler looking over the Cougar defense, gives to his fullback on a dive to the left side, not too much gain. Todd Shell for BYU, and the stop also Smith, the nose guard. I think Brad hit him first of all. It was interesting looking that time. Brandon Flint, number 99, was lined up about two yards off the line of scrimmage in what they call a flex position. Makes a little bit, it gives him a little bit of time to read what's going on on the blocking up front. Second down for Missouri after a three yard gain, second and seven. The ball on the 26 yard line. Adler ready again. There's a pitch back, a sweep to the right side. BYU has it well played, no gain. I think that uh, Jensen turned it in first of all for BYU, and then there were a lot of blue jerseys there. That's right. That's what has to happen. The, the contained man has to be able to get it going inside. That time, excellent support coming from the inside by BYU's linebackers. Good job getting out there. You can see Flint 99 playing off the block. A lot of blue jerseys getting out there. Superb of defensive play. Third and seven on the 27-yard line. They send two men split wide to the left. Quarterback is Marlon Adler, a six-foot junior. Third down call. He still has the ball. Sprinting out to the side. Shell after him. Will they get him before the first down? It's going to be close. Short. I think they stopped him short of the first down. He was forced out of bounds by linebacker Terry Whittingham. Whittingham for BYU came over and forced him out of bounds. And Missouri will face, I think, fourth down. They do. So the punting unit comes in. And the BYU defense stops him. Their punter is their quarterback, Marlon Adler. He averages only 36 yards a punt, however. In fact, when Adler came to Missouri, he came as a punter, a walk-on member of the team as a punter, and he's done quite well, though, as a quarterback. Kicking from his own 18-yard line. No score, first quarter of the ball game. Here's the snap and the kick. Kind of a line drive kick. 
bounces right to BYU's John Young. John coming wide to the outside, down to the 35-yard line. So John Young of BYU gets the punt and is tackled by Lenson Staples. So here's the BYU offense coming onto the field. Here's BYU ready for the first offensive series. Pendleton in motion to the right side. Young at quarterback will throw on first down. Fakes once, and they sack him. He's dropped. Young faked a couple of times and did not see the young man coming at him. Bobby Bell sacked him, so BYU loses eight. Bobby Bell has 13 sacks. That's his 14th sack this year. He's a fine one for Missouri. Young has lots of time, but Bell just sneaks in there from the outside and clobbers Young quite hard. Second and 18 for the Cougars, back on their own 27-yard line. So BYU's first play, minus yardage. Harper shifting from the left over to the right side. He's a starting tight end for BYU. Maddich is starting center. Snaps back to Young. Swings it out to Tiamalo, a screen. Tiamalo breaks through a couple of tacklers and pulls his way up to the 37-yard line. Maybe the 36-yard line. Casey Tiamalo. Casey was honored uh, here at, at the Holiday Bowl. They gave him an award for being one of the outstanding players from the San Diego area in the country. Well, they gained nine on that one. Get it back out to the 36-yard line where it is third down and nine for BYU. So there's the first pass completion of the game. Steve Young, consensus All-American for BYU, made all of the major All-American teams this year. First team. Young changing things a bit as he looks out to the left side. Young back to pass, looking, looking. Now chased out of the pocket, still looking, gets it off. Well, I think it was intercepted, it was. Tried to get it to Harper, but it was intercepted by number four, Jerome Caver. So Caver intercepts, but there's a penalty flag down. Penalty flag down. Missouri says it's on BYU, however. Ineligible receiver downfield, and that'll be re refused. So Missouri gets the first big break of the game. Certainly nice when you can take over the ball in the opposing team's territory. It's going to give Missouri a lot of a lot of momentum right now to have that ball where they are. Again, we were talking about there will be a sideline reporter during this game. You'll not hear the audio on that, but that's BYU President Jeff Holland. So Missouri with the ball, with 10 minutes left to play in the first quarter, they're at midfield. First and 10. Adler with the ball, gives to his fullback on a slant to the right side, down inside the 40. The ball carrier is Eric Drain for Missouri. Missouri likes to go to that right side over their right tackle, number 76, Conrad Goody. He's six foot seven, 267 pounds, an All-American, and boy, he's a fine, strong one. Brandon Flynn made the stop for BYU. Brandon, honorable mention, All-American for BYU. Second and six for the Tigers on the 38-yard line. High formation. Adler with the ball. Now there's the pitch back on the option play. Brandon, or uh, Shell hit him first of all, but he slips a tackle and has a first down for Missouri inside the 30-yard line. That's the first time Missouri has carried out that option play and gone outside. On all the previous ones, they've handed off going up the middle to their fullback, but this time they did pitch it out. BYU had some people there in position, but they missed the tackle. Missouri then with a first down on the BYU 27-yard line, so that interception giving Missouri a good opportunity to get the first score of this football game. 9.20 to go in the first quarter, and either team has scored. Adler quarterbacking. Adler with the ball, gives it straight up the middle to his fullback. Drain gains about six yards. Tripped up at the line of scrimmage as he went through. Whittingham tripped him up, and then Todd Shell finished it off. Drain is a sophomore playing fullback for Missouri. He's got powerful legs on him. I saw him coming out of the locker room. Boy, he's got big thighs, and he powers his way up through that line of scrimmage. Second down and four for Missouri on the BYU 21-yard line. No score. First quarter of the football game. Adler again fakes it. He still has the ball running the option. There's the pitch back. Not a lot of running room that time. And they drive him out of bounds short of the first down. John Young for BYU there. And also Todd Shell for the Cougars. Whittingham there. 
Uh, the pitch back man was John Red. That's the way they should defend the, the pitch out. Uh, the time before they missed the tackle, they were there but missed the tackle. This time a fine job getting out, pursuing, pushing it out to the sidelines and getting him out of bounds. Third down and one for Missouri on the Brigham Young 19-yard line. Missouri getting the ball in a good position on an interception. There's the pitch back again to Red. The Cougars have him turned in. Oh, he'll get around the corner. Boy, he had good speed. Looked like BYU had him. Knocked out of bounds, but he got the first down. Greg Peterson for BYU over there. But he was able to outrun a couple of guys. Red's only a freshman. So Red has a first down play for the Missouri team. First down game. Very deceptive speed. It looked like BYU would get him, but turned on those afterburners and picked up just enough yards for the first down. First and 10 for Missouri on the Brigham Young 13-yard line. Again, they got the ball on an interception, so they have a good opportunity to score now. They're a ball control team. Adler with the ball to Drain his fullback. Drain slips up the middle. He's inside the 10-yard line. They never do bring him down. A lot of Cougars have a hold of him there as he's to the 10-yard line. Brandon Flint, big number 99 for BYU, first one to hit him. So far in the game, Missouri has not thrown the ball, but the running game is working very well for them on this drive. As you remember, the first drive, BYU was able to stop them deep in their own territory. He got to the nine-yard line. It's second down, six yards for the first down, nine yards for the touchdown. Marlon Adler running things. Eric Drain at his fullback. John Red, his tailback. And those three have done everything so far. Adler with the ball. Still has it, running the option. He's very close to the goal line. A big hole opened off the right side. And Adler slipped in. And I think he has a first down. A so number of times this year, BYU's been behind. Uh, giving up the first score, came back and won it. I think in, in at least five of the games this year, they've done it. Watch your 76, Conrad Goody. Look at him as he bowls his way up the field and opens up a hole. Adler cuts back inside against the grain and picks up a nice game. First and goal on the two-yard line for the University of Missouri Tigers. Sent a man in motion to the right. That's Drain, the fullback, and uh, he made it. Ray just did get in. So Missouri gets the first score after an interception of Steve Young. They put together a 47-yard drive and was 7-12 to go in the first quarter. It's Missouri 6 and Brigham Young nothings and the Missouri Tigers score first of all. Sheer power up there in that front line. Look at him pull the people back there. Excellent power in that offensive line for Missouri. BYU had things in pretty good shape, too. The, uh, they had stopped Missouri after a good kickoff, and then they're intercepted. Verdict to try the extra point. He's 31 of 33 this year, and it scored 64 points. Here's his kick. Kicks it right through there. With timeout on the field, 7-12 to go. Brigham Young down by a score of 7-0. We'll be back right after this. Jay Monson and Oren Olson again in San Diego at the Holiday Bowl. Brigham Young trading now 7-0. And the Cougars will receive, get the ball for the second time. Kicking off for Missouri is Brad Burdett, who's a uh, junior from Monroe City, Missouri. BYU with Kelly Smith back deep. Here's the kick. Bounces. Picked up at the five-yard line, 10. Breaking for the outside is Kelly Smith. And Kelly wrestled to the ground at the 18-yard line. That was a low kick. Uh, Smith had time to get some, some speed going up down the field, but good coverage by Missouri. They were able to break through the middle of BYU's blocking and get in there and drop him inside the 20-yard line. There you see the last uh, the time on the last drive for Missouri. They're ahead 7-0, BYU with the ball. Birmingham and Kellemeyer are the tackles. Garrick and Wong the guards, Maddox the center. Kozlowski the split end, Harper the tight end. And Kozlowski is wide to the left side. Tiamalo and Stanett, the setbacks for BYU. Young to pass, does pass, completes it to Stanett. Stanett's out to the 28-yard line. Be close to the yardage for a first down. Eddie Stanett coming out of the backfield. The BYU coaches felt that Missouri leaves the flat open quite often. They cover, they cover well in the deep, but in the flats they've been uh, quite open as we've seen at times. So I think we can watch for BYU to hit a lot of passes to their backs coming out of the backfield. Talking to an injured player at that point. For, that was a first down play for BYU. First and 10 now on the 29-yard line. 
Young chased, gets it off, completes it to the 40 yard correction, the 37 yard line to second unit tight end Dave Mills, but there's also a flag down. Brought down by Jeff Smith. I'm sure Steve Young was quite disappointed in that first series. Uh, the first play was a quarterback sack. Second play picked up a, a few yards. The third play was the interception. They want to get things going in this drive. Well, they've called BYU with an illegal receiver downfield. One of the officials over talking to BYU coach uh, Lavelle Edwards and Roger French about that. The pass was complete, but the uh, Missouri team will take the penalty. That's the second time that penalty has been marked or indicated against BYU. But on the that, first time it was on the interception and was refused. On that one, uh, it's a little strange. Uh, as it was the first time, I could see how it happened. It was a sprint out pass, and often it takes so long, it's easy for a lineman to wander downfield. But uh, I guess someone just got a yard too far downfield. Usually they're is watching. Is that a loss of down on that one, too, Orrin? It is. I think it is. So it's, so it's second and 15 for BYU. Young back to pass, pressure on, throws it over the middle to Tiamalo, spins away from one man, and then pulled down. There's that pass out to the back out of the backfield again. Uh, Missouri is dropping way back, and they're they're giving BYU those short passes for five, ten yards in the, on the inside. Six minutes left to play in the first quarter. Missouri seven, Brigham Young nothing. So nothing. So the Cougars face third and nine. Bringing in a play is Mike Edo for the Cougars. Mike, of course, broke his collarbone earlier this year. And this is his first action since that. That was against Utah State. It's interesting in contrast. BYU has not run the ball. Missouri has not passed the ball so far. Third and ten for the Cougars. Third and nine. Young back to pass. Three-man rush. Good protection. He's going to run it himself this time. Lot of room up the middle. He's up to the 50-yard line. And into Missouri territory. Big hole right up the middle. It was beautiful. Steve Young was back in the pocket, stepped up as one man went by him, saw it wide open, and away he went. Coaches all year long have been afraid of Steve Young and his running ability, and he's demonstrated why they respect him so much. Here he steps up a little bit and sees it open, and look at him go. He's a speedster. Steve Young, a rush this year for uh, 444 yards, gets the Cougars a first down on the Missouri 47-yard line. First and 10, BYU. Cougars down 7 0. Harper shifting to the right side. Tim all of the setback. Mills the tight end. Young to pass. He got away from one man and then is tackled back at the 50 yard line. Boy, Missouri's putting good pressure on the Cougars right now. They are. They've got some big men up front and they're doing a lot of line stunning. The ends and tackles are looping around each other, trying to uh, throw BYU's offensive line off. That time they were able to get the penetration they needed quickly. And Young was in trouble. Three-yard loss, so BYU faces second and 13. Second and 13 with the ball on the Cougar. Or check that. The ball is on the 50-yard line, right on the 50. Nice evening here in San Diego. The temperature at game time is about 61 degrees. Young on the draw. That's Casey Tiamalo. Casey sidestepping his way down to the 40-yard line. That's BYU's first running play of the night. Very effective. Last year in the Holiday Bowl, BYU only had 19 yards rushing the whole night, and I think that's one of the reasons they lost it. They just couldn't have a rushing game. They have to have one tonight, and they're starting it off with that fine draw play to Casey Tiamalu. Good blocking up front that time for BYU, and Casey picked his way through nicely for a gain. Brigham Young with third down, about two yards to go. They're on the Missouri 40... Oh, between the 41 and the 40-yard line. They need a couple yards right here. That's Kozlowski going in motion for BYU. Young with the ball, sprinting out, looking downfield. May run it himself. He's chased. Now he gets the pass off, and it's batted in the air. I think it was intercepted. And again, Missouri has come up with a big defensive play. They chased him, put pressure on him. The pass was knocked in the air and picked up. And Missouri leading 6-7-0 has its second interception of the football game. That's the second time Steve Young has been intercepted on the sprint out. A lot of pressure there by number 96, Bobby Bell. He's a fine one. Young throwing under pressure, and it's just bobbled up in the air. Okay, we're going to pause for a moment. Back right after this with more football. The Holiday Bowl from San Diego. I'm Jay Monson along with Oren Olson. Hey, the BYU basketball team won over Boise State tonight, 66-54. Missouri with the football, first and 10 now on their own 27-yard line, 28-yard line. 
Adler with the ball. Reverse action play, but BYU stopped him. He slips a tackle, and now he's down. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage. Reverse action on the play. Excellent job. A lot of Cougars in on the stop. Herman, one of the first ones. Blake Jensen, number 21, was the man that turned him inside. He had responsibility for containment, and on a reverse, it's very important that that contained man is there to turn it inside. Often he gets faked out by the, the uh, run fake to the other side. The split end on an end around that time with the ball. Kerlin Thomas, they lose a yard. Second and 11 for Missouri on their own 27-yard line. Missouri 7, Brigham Young nothing. First quarter. Time running out of the first quarter. Adler with the ball, a handoff straight ahead. John up to the 31-yard line. John Red, the ball carrier. For the Cougars, the tackle made by Marv Allen. Again, there's quite a contrast so far in the game. BYU has run the ball only once. Missouri has still not passed the ball, but they have had a very effective running game so far in the game. They have third down and seven right now on their own 31-yard line. Missouri 7, Brigham Young nothing. And yeah, Missouri with the ball. They'd like to play ball control, and they've been able to do so pretty well here in the first quarter. Kay Adler calling signals. Adler with the ball, back to pass. Chased out of the pocket. He's being chased by Leon White. Gets the ball off, and it is incomplete. The pass on the sidelines incomplete intended for number 84, Andy Hill, but uh, Leon White had him on the dead run as he threw it. BYU's defense rises to the occasion. All year long, that defense has kept the offense in the game, and they showed it this time. They really do have tremendous capabilities out there. Adler will punt now from about his own 16-yard line. John Young back deep for BYU. We have two minutes and two seconds left to play in the first quarter. Missouri 7, Brigham Young nothing. So far, been pretty much Missouri's game. BYU's been intercepted twice. No rush by BYU. The punt, John Young will have to go over to the sidelines for it. Makes the catch on the run. Gets back to the 40 to the 45 up to midfield. Nice return by John Young. He was running towards the sidelines, but there's also a flag down. And BYU's been hurt by penalties. This will probably be a clip. That time, uh, John Young made it a 14-yard net punt. He got back to, well, I guess, no, actually about a 24-yard net punt. But he caught the ball on the run. It was a low-line drive kick, and those are dangerous for the kicking team. And that's the call on Brigham Young clipping. So right now, BYU hurting themselves. They've had a couple of penalties. A clipping penalty that had very good field position. Now it puts them back a bit. They had, All the way back to their 30. That's the third penalty. They had two where well, they had uh, illegal receivers downfield, and this is the third. I, I don't believe Missouri has been penalized yet. Right now, there's an official's timeout while they talk about something. So we'll be back in just a moment with more football. A very pleasant evening in San Diego, Holiday Bowl number six. Brigham Young trading Missouri, 7 nothing. As play resumes, the Cougars have the ball first and 10 on their own 30-yard line. After a 15-yard clipping penalty, put the ball back. Actually cost them more than that. They run the draw. Casey Tiamalo is stacked up. So BYU trying to get something going, and Casey is stopped dead. Missouri's allowed only 97, 98 yards a game rushing this year against all opponents. That includes playing such teams as Nebraska and Oklahoma and Illinois, Oklahoma State. They've done a very good job. They have given up 187 yards passing. Uh, BYU, on the other hand, has been averaging a, a slug of yards, about 584 yards a game. They lost two on that one, so it's second and 12, Brigham Young, on the Cougars' 28-yard line. Young on sprint out, looking to pass, and it's dropped. Got it down there to Wayman Hamilton, and it's incomplete. Hamilton did not see the ball coming. He uh, blocked for a second, then went downfield, and, and the ball was perfectly thrown, but he just did not turn around in time. You'll see. Hey, watch it. It's out there before he sees it coming. I guess uh, he, looked he almost got it anyway. It, it came over the wrong shoulder. He looked inside, and it was over his outside shoulder. Had he looked over the other shoulder, he would have had it. It was perfectly thrown. Third and 12 for BYU, so the Cougars struggling here in the first quarter. A minute 11 to go in the first period. Missouri 7, Brigham Young nothing. Young back needs 12 yards. Here's the pass downfield, and it's caught. 
It'll be a first down. Kozlowski got open at the 45-yard line. Haysburg. Oh, no, Adam Haysburg. Adam Haysburg, the sophomore junior from San Mateo, was open upfield, and Young hit him that time for a big first down. Lots of time back there for Young. Look at him standing there by himself. Beautiful, beautifully thrown pass out to Haysburg. Had just enough yards. Tackled by Terry Matichak. The left corner for Missouri, so BYU with the first down. That puts them up about where they would have been on that punt return. That's right. Haysbert's had a number of big catches this year. Remember in the Utah State game, it was Haysbert that had two big catches there at the end of the game. Hamilton and Tiamalo are now on the field as the running backs. Harper is the tight end. Young to pass, rushes on. Oh, they didn't, he didn't see him coming again. They got him. That's the second time in this game that Steve Young has been hit hard by Bobby Bell when Steve just didn't see him coming. Well, they had lots of yellow yellow and white jerseys going in there after him, and, and uh, Bobby Bell just came free off that right side of, the, of Missouri's defense. Bell, a 214-pound senior from Lee's Summit, Missouri, and BYU, the clock running with 36 seconds to go in the first quarter. Now the Cougars face second and 20, and the Missouri defense playing very well in this first period. They certainly are. Anytime you can sack Young twice and get two interceptions in the first quarter, you're doing a phenomenal job. Young back to throw on second and 20. Fires over the middle. Almost caught, but it's a little too tall for Pendleton. It's an incomplete pass. So it'll be third down and 20 for BYU. The clock stops with 14 seconds to go in the first period. Missouri's defensive line is doing an excellent job putting pressure on Young. They've got some big, strong people up there. They're averaging about 260 pounds among the middle three people on their defensive line. Haysbert and Kozlowski are the wide men in for BYU now as Young has third and 20 from his own 35-yard line. Missouri ahead 7-0. Harper shifting over to the right side as the tight end. Young back to pass. Chased out of the pocket. Still scrambling, looking, looking. Throws for the sidelines. Was it intercepted? No. It's almost intercepted. In fact, Haysbert. It's incomplete. Haysbert was able to keep that ball from being caught. Was well, Haysbert was coming back towards Steve Young, and a good receiver will do that when he's when he sees the quarterback is in trouble. He'll move back upfield to try and get open. Haysbert was getting open, but a Missouri player moved in front. Haysbert jumped up and knocked it out of his hands, preventing that interception. So BYU must punt with five seconds left to go. Punting will be Lee Johnson, who averages 51 yards a punt this year, cooking, kicking it barefooted from the 21-yard line. Snap is right to him, and here's the kick. High end over end kick, taken at the 26-yard uh, line, and forced out of bounds right there. And that ends the first quarter of the football game. After one quarter of play, it's Missouri 7, and Brigham Young University has nothing. Jay Monson and Oren Olson at the Holiday Bowl in San Diego. Holiday Bowl number six. Missouri is leading Brigham Young by a score of 7 0 as we go into the second period. Our Steve Young, the Cougar quarterback, was at a, a rough first quarter here tonight. As the Missouri line's been putting a lot of pressure on him. First and 10, Missouri on their own 30 yard line as the second period opens. Adler at quarterback gives to his fullback. Not much this time. Eric Drain, the ball carrier. The fullback, Eric Drain. Gain him two, maybe three yards off the right side. Brad Smith, Cougar nose guard there, hitting him first of all. A little bit of pushing there after the play between Tom Hornoff, number 68, and Todd Shell. There's a lot of physical, there's a physical game going on down there in that, in that trench. Second down and eight for the Missouri Tigers on their own 32-yard line. They're doing what they want to do at this point. Ball control, keeping the Cougar offense off the field. The Cougar offense has not been sharp thus far. Second down play, drain the fullback again. Drain gains three yards off the right side. Excellent job by Brad Smith of fighting off the block of the center and getting in there to drop him for a short gain. Good job by Smith. Very good football player out there from Missouri right now. Big number 76. Watch him to get a chance. That's Conrad Goody. He's a first-team All-American in some uh, polls this year. 267-pound senior. We've got an All-American against an All-American, Brandon Flint. They're head-on-head -head out there. Third down and five for Missouri on the 35. 
It's the option, the quarterback with the ball. He does not get it this time. So it'll be a punting down coming up as the BYU defense did the job. Making the tackle was Leon White. With the exception of that series when Missouri took over the ball in BYU's territory, BYU's defense is doing an excellent job tonight. So is Missouri's defense. I think we're seeing two fine defenses. Neither offense has really sparkled that much this evening. Adler will punt John Young back at the 18-yard or the 24-yard line for BYU. So Adler punting. Here's a snap. And he gets it away. Young waiting for it. No fair catch. Makes it. Cuts right up the middle and is gang tackled at the 30 yard line. Returned at about five yards. John Young's averaging seven and a half yards per punt return this year. Now we'll see if the BYU offense can get untracked a bit. One of the things the coaches were a little concerned about is a month off. Uh, much of the BYU offense depends on, on precision. We'll be back in just a moment. Missouri leading Brigham Young 7 0 in holiday bowl number six as BYU takes over first and 10 on their own 30 yard line. Cougars not a scoring threat so far in the game. Missouri has scored once. They also have two interceptions of Steve Young in the first quarter. Tiamalo and Stanette, the running backs for BYU. Young, did, no, it's the inside draw play. Casey Tiamalo, big hole up the middle. He's out to the 40 yard line. Casey Tiamala for BYU. That time the blocking was there. Good play. Beautiful blocking that time. They're going to have to have that more tonight. That's the third time BYU has run it. Two times Casey has broken nice 10-yard runs on him. This time a good job of blocking and Casey with that fine running picks up the first down. Casey rushed for 851 yards this year. Scored three touchdowns running. He also caught 60 passes fine athlete. BYU is going to have to have that running game, though, to slow down that rush by Missouri's front line. First and 10, BYU on their own 40-yard line as the Cougars try to, to uh, get down in scoring territory. Young to throw. There's a flag down. He does throw. Completes it to Harper. Harper gets away. He's to the 45. There's also a flag down at the line of scrimmage. And that happens, you're often watching for the holding call or offsides. Young has a lot of blood on his pants. It looks like he might have cut his right hand or something. Well, it could be the uh, paint at midfield, too. That could be. <laughs> there are two flags down, in fact, on the play. BYU indicating it's on Missouri. Offsides on the Missouri Tigers. I do think that's just the red paint for midfield, a uh, poinsettia there when he was let's, tackled the one Let's time. hope it is. <laughs> By the end of the game, I think we'll have a lot of red on a lot of people. Some will be blood and some will be paint. <laughs> First down, BYU on the pass completion to tight end Harper as the Cougars refuse the penalty. They have the ball now down to the Missouri 42-yard line. And BYU looking a little better. Stanett and Tiamalo setbacks. Young uh, moves Tiamalo over a step to the right. Young back to pass. Looking, fires it. Complete on the sidelines. Who got it? Kozlowski. Cougar wide receiver. And the tackle by Jerome Caber. This is BYU's. That pass had some zip on it. It certainly did. This is BYU's deepest penetration so far in the game. They've not really been able to launch a drive so far, but it looks like this time they've got a drive on its way. Four-yard gain, second and six for BYU on the Missouri 38-yard line. Missouri leading 7-0, but the Cougars on the move. That's the draw again. Casey Tiamala, big hole to the outside. He's down to the 20-yard line. Oh, it opened up that time. And Casey Tiamala with his second big run of this drive. His third big one of the night. That's, there's a flag down yeah, there's also. There's a flag down. That's Casey's uh, third nice run for tonight. He's picked up. He's picked up over 20 yards so far in the game. Here's the call. Personal foul, I guess, on uh, Missouri. Well, BYU's had two breaks so far in this drive. There have been two penalties, but both of them have been against Missouri. Well, Tiamala with a good run. He was down around the 20-yard line with the run, and then will walk off a personal foul against the Tigers of Missouri. Must have been after the play came after the play, so they'll tack it on at the end of the run. And Brigham Young has a great scoring opportunity going. Again, last year in, the, in this game, in the Holiday Bowl, BYU only had 19 yards rushing the whole night. They've already eclipsed that, and it looks like they're, they're going to have to have that running game all night long to open up the passing game. 
First and ten, Brigham Young on the Missouri 10-yard line. I think it would be possible to make a first down without scoring. The nose of the football is just short of the 10-yard line. So BYU trying to tie it up here. Young, quarterback draw right up the middle. He might make it. He does. The quarterback draw. And Steve Young got in for the score. Well, they've, they've been scouting Missouri. They knew that one would open up. Another yep. flag was thrown. And I think it might be another personal foul on Missouri. Boy, they opened it up right up the middle on the quarterback draw and the Cougars score. Well, Missouri is coming so strong and so hard up the middle. That's why the, the draw is opening up, the quarterback draw and the draw to Tiamalo. And it is another personal foul on the Tigers. They'll mark that off then probably on the kickoff, won't they not? Yes, on the kickoff. But the penalty comes just to the right. It's not on Young, but uh, maybe we won't see it. It was Trevor Maddich who was down on the turf, and somebody was roughing him up a bit, and they call a personal foul. Here's Lee Johnson in to try to tie the score. So Brigham Young gets the first touchdown of the game for the Cougars. Johnson this year, 52 of 55. His kick is good. So there's time out on the field with 11.50 to go in the first half. It's now Brigham Young 7 and the University of Missouri 7. Lee Johnson to kick off. Missouri's up four where they only have one man back. They're looking for a trick play from BYU. Johnson does bounce it along the ground and into the end zone and out of the end zone. So Missouri will take over on their own 20-yard line on the touchback. Now BYU's defense has played well. First quarter stats, Oren. Uh, here's a replay of a touchdown, by the way. Steve Young, the quarterback drop. Boy, that opened up. Certainly did. You saw Lewis Wong, number 70 there, picking up number 34 for Missouri. Jay Wilson, one of their fine athletes, keeping him out of the play. BYU had 52 yards, Missouri 71 total yardage in the first quarter. The Tigers with the ball on their own 20. That's Adler with the ball, looking to pass, does pass, incomplete. It was dropped, in fact. Uh, Tony, not Tony Davis. Let's see, that's a new man in the game. 85 is uh, Pat Thepford, tight end. Good play action pass that time. Gave Adler some time to get the ball off. Todd Shell was right there, almost had his hand on the ball. I think he was one of the factors in, in that ball being dropped. It's one of the few passes thrown by Missouri in the game. They have second and 10 of their own 20. As both teams are changing strategies a bit now, BYU's used the run to help get a score. And here we just saw Missouri pass. This is the running play to the fullback. Big hole. Oh, he's out to the 30. Fumble the football. No, it's after the ball is down. The fullback, Eric Drain, big hole off the left side, right side, and gets a first down. John Young, a saving tackle. He's going over his favorite blocker, Conrad Goody, number 76, and he broke through the linebackers. Excellent speed shown by Drain. You can see 76 on the top of your screen there. Good blocking, and Drain just follows those big people up the field. That's John Red. Let's check things. John Red was the ball carrier. First and 10 for Missouri. Adler with the ball spinning around. Here's the pitch back to Red, but BYU's waiting for him, and Todd Shell drops him on the 35-yard line, just like the Cougars do exactly what was happening that time. They sure did. Uh, 92, Jim Herman was in there putting pressure on the quarterback. Everyone was fulfilling their assignments. Superb defense that time. Back to the 35, a loss of three, so it is second and 13 for Missouri on their own 35-yard line. 11 minutes to go in the first half. Missouri 7, Brigham Young 7. Adler ready. The snap, back to throw, throws for the sidelines, completes it. John Young covering, slips by him, but he's tackled immediately for the Cougars by Todd Shell, who's a super linebacker. Certainly is. That time, the, the front line for Missouri did a cut down block. They want to give the quarterback time uh, some room to get that pass off, so they'll try and cut their men down. Pass was thrown to Shorthouse. Shorthouse, there's a penalty flag down, and it's against the University of Missouri. Second and 18 for the Tigers of Missouri on their own 30 yard line. Adler looking to pass right away, does swing it out the right side. It's caught there. Some good blocking, good run. Green. 
charges out to the 50-yard line, and they'll get, uh, no, not quite a first down. Eric Drain, does he make the first down? Yes, I guess he does. David I don't think he was quite there. Superb blocking. swing pass. Superb blocking. You'll watch the offensive lineman get out there and, and blocking for him. Nice run. Uses his blocks very well. Good cut there and breaks a few tackles, picking up that first down. Well, Missouri was in the hole a bit, but they uh, got a first down on that pass play to Drain. First and 10, Missouri. The ball on the 50-yard line. 7-7 seven, seven tie, second quarter. Adler gives to Drain, and again, they open a hole up the middle. He's to the 41-yard line. Kyle Morrell for BYU tackling him. They're using Drain. He's pretty much their offense right now. He is. The thing Drain likes to do, he likes to go ahead out for Conrad Goody, number 76, and then he'll often cut it back like he did that time. Uh, Conrad Goody is blocking on number 99, Brandon Flint, and Drain cut it back inside of Flint. Second and two for Missouri on the BYU 41-yard line. Score tied 7-7. Adler with the ball, gives this time a gain of about a yard as the Cougars uh, make a good quick hit. The ball carrier is Barbosa in at fullback. He's a sophomore. Hit hard. Good move on the inside by Smith of BYU, the Cougar nose guard. You see it on the replay. He was supposed to be cut off that time by the off guard, but Smith kept his feet just long enough and got in there and, and tripped up the ball carrier. It's close enough they'll have to measure, so they're bringing the chains out. Blocking strategy Missouri was using on that play. The center goes past Brad Smith and tries to get the linebacker that's uh, behind Brad Smith. The guard away from the direction the play is coming tries to clip the middle guard, or Smith tries to cut him down, hit him in the back of his knees, and he did a half draw that time, and Smith was able to get in for the tackle. Third down, less than a yard to go for Missouri. The Cougars really load up the line. Out of the eye formation, Adler goes for it himself. Got about everybody on both teams down on the field, but Adler makes it. Missouri has about 102 yards rushing in the game now, adding that one onto it, and the Cougars 49. Score-wise, each team seven points, and we have 8.57 left to go on the first half. Missouri's chewing up a lot of the clock on this drive. That's what they want to do is have long drives, keep the ball on the ground, keep the clock moving. This is the first time they've really been able to have a long, sustained drive down the field. They have a first down now on the Brigham Young 39-yard line. Adler with the ball, still has it, running the option. He's caught from behind and spun down by Brandon Flynn. Brandon got him by the jersey and spun him to the turf. It's when you like to have, it's like when you like to have sticky fingers when you get your hands on the quarterback's jersey like Flint at that, that time. They faked the handoff up the middle, but Flint did not go for it, gets his hands on his jersey and just pulls him right down. They lose three, it is second down and 13 for the Missouri Tigers. Clock running with 8.09 to go in the first half. Brigham Young 7, Missouri 7. They send two men wide to the left this time. One setback. Adler the quarterback. Adler fakes back. He still has the ball himself. Looking to throw. Does throw. Out of bounds. Yeah. It is incomplete. He was out of bounds when he caught it. Good pressure that time by Todd Shell. He had to take on number 68, Tom Hornoff, who was protecting uh, protecting Adler, but he did a good job, forced him to throw that ball, and, and it was out of bounds. Third down and 13 for the Missouri Tigers, so here's a big play for both teams. Certainly as Missouri is out of field goal range right now, so they've got to get the first down or they have to punt. Down and 13 for Missouri. Adler drops straight back. The rush is on. He gets it's batted in the air. Incomplete. Boy, BYU was blitzing that time. Adler had to throw it. The Cougars knocked the pass in the air, and nobody knew where it was. If somebody had turned around, they could have caught it. There's a little pushing and shoving that time also after the play between Brandon Flynn and, and number 67, Bernard Laster. That ball is up in the air here, and everybody's looking for it. I think it looked like Whittingham was going for it and somebody was holding him back. 
Adler will be punting from his own 45 yard line. The Cougars have. See, they have John Young standing on the 10 yard line. See if they try to kick it out of bounds. 7 7 tie. The BYU defense is held. Here's the punt. He kicks it way high. Young signals for the fair catch, but he'll let the ball bounce. And Missouri has it covered. They'll down it inside the five yard line. Time out on the field. Seven and a half to go in a half. A 7 7 tie. More after this. Back at the Holiday Bowl, where Missouri has just used a punt to good advantage to put the Cougars in the hole. They have BYU back on the Cougar two yard line, where it is first and 10. Score tied 7 7. BYU 98 yards away from the end zone. They'll have to try and avoid. Uh, well, a running play on first down to Casey Tiamalo. He's out to the six yard line. So they have to avoid the safety, but right now they're playing for field position. That's right. They want to get a little bit of running room. You kind of hate to be throwing a pass when you're back in your own end zone, but Tiamalo does get him, give him a little bit of re breathing room. Adler, the punter for Missouri, has been very effective this year, kicking it down into the opponent's territory. 16 out of his 55 punts during the season were down inside the 20-yard line. He came to their team, as Oren mentioned earlier, as a walk-on punter. And is now the starting quarterback in a bowl game. Second and six for BYU from the six. And Young gives on the draw to Casey Tiamalo. Casey breaks some tackles and has the first down. Casey, the little bowling ball, ran right through the arms of one tackler at about the eight-yard line. I believe that was Jay Wilson, number 34. He's shaking his head, saying, oh, boy, I had my hands on him. Good blocking. You can see the, the trap block there by number 59 for BYU. That's Garrick. And uh, Casey breaks the tackle and goes up and picks up the first down. So Brigham Young, starting from the two-yard line, has a first down now on their own 16-yard line. Score is seven for BYU, seven for Missouri. And BYU's playing a lot better football now. You can just feel a difference on the field. First and 10 on the 16-yard line, trying to get out of the hole. Young fakes the draw, still has the football, running it himself for the sidelines. He'll run out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Got excellent speed. Had a man chasing him there, but just showed that speed and got picked up about four or five yards. Well, it's finally marked down. They say he went down on the 19, so that's a gain of only about three. There's uh, isolating on Kozlowski. Kozlowski downfield was open, but of course Young was sprinting the other way. So you see Kozlowski was open, but he couldn't get it to him. Second down for Brigham Young and seven. Young back to pass on second down. Pumps a couple of times, gets the pass off. Intercepted! It was tipped off the hands of a BYU player and intercepted in midfield. That ball was slightly overthrown. Pendleton went up for it. It went off his hands and right into the hands of a Missouri Tiger. Well, this is amazing. Young was only intercepted 10 times all season, and in this game alone, he's had three. Okay, there's time out on the field or a break in the action. We'll be back in just a moment. First of all, see the interception. The ball tipped in the air. So Missouri will get the ball back with great field position with a score tied 7-7. Jay Monson and Oren Olson at the Holiday Bowl. A 7-7 tie with about six minutes to go in the first half. And Young has just been intercepted for the third time. Missouri with the ball 30 yards away from a score. First play is a running play to the fullback, five-yard gain. Eric Drain, number 39, seems to be their bread and butter play in this game is to give it to him on a slant to the right. So second and five, second and six, they say, for Missouri on the BYU 25-yard line. Well, the Missouri line moves. Big number 72, who is their left tackle, Dave Niptash, he took a half step forward before the ball was snapped. They set a man in motion, too. Missouri is in field goal range right now. Even with the penalty, if they were go to one, go for a field goal, it'd be about a 47-yard attempt, which is within the range of their kicker. Five-yard walk-off. So the Tigers face second down now and 11. Got to hand it to this BYU defense. They've played, played uh, pretty well here because they've been in a hole a lot in the first half of the game. They really have. The BYU offense has turned the ball over three times, and that makes it tough for the defense. Third and 11. Second and 11 make that on the 30. Adler does send a man in motion to the left side. 
spins around, is running the option himself, and slips a tackle. Hey, he got a good run out of that, down to the 20-yard line. BYU had him back near the 28-yard line, but he maintained his balance, went down to one hand, and then uh, slipped forward for five more yards. That's what you call a forward crawl. Somehow he just kept his knee from touching the ground. Good run by Adler, who passed this year for 1,603 yards and rushed for 267. He ran for 12 touchdowns, which is a school record. Third down, a yard and a half for Missouri. Adler with the ball. They got him. He tried, I don't know, it looked like he tried to get it to drain and couldn't, but Brad Smith brought down Adler. Now Missouri will have to decide whether to go for the first down or a field goal. Boy, Smith has been in there a lot of times. He's penetrating through there. Good They're job. setting in the kicking unit, Oren. Brad Burdett, who is their kicker. You see that last play? That was a good defensive play by Brad Smith of BYU. Sure was. He just got off that line very quickly, beat the beat the, the block of the man trying to get him, slipped through there and, and dropped that alert for that loss. Burdett will be trying a 38-yard uh, field goal. He's 11 of 15 this year, kicking field goals. 348 left to play in the first half. Here's his kick. Doesn't have a lot of distance, but uh, it's through there. He got it up and in. And so Missouri gets a three-yard pointer on a uh, field goal. And with 3.48 left to go in the first half, it's now Missouri 10, Brigham Young 7. Back at the Holiday Bowl, there's a replay of the field goal that was just kicked through by Verdit for the Missouri Tigers. And so it's a 10-7 game, BYU trading. Verdit will now kick off for the Cougars. To the Cougars, let's put it that way. 3.48 left to go in the first half. Cougars have never been ahead. They trailed 7-0, tied at 7-7, and now they trail 10-7. BYU this year, of course, averaged 44 points a game. Here's the kickoff. Drives this one high and deep back to the one-yard line. Taken there, they'll run it out to the 10, 15, and down at the 17-yard line. Kelly Smith took it right near the goal line and runs it out to about the 17-yard line. So BYU, with a long ways to go, will take over and try to get something moving here in the first half of the ball game. Kind of, Oren, you know, BYU has not played well, has not had many things go for them, and yet they're down by only three points. You've got to give that defense credit. They've, uh, they've had a number of difficult situations in that last series. I was very proud of them. They only gave up about 14 yards and, and forced Missouri to go for the field goal. First and 10, BYU on the Cougars 16-yard line. I'll try to put something together here towards the end of the half. Sweep to the right side. Eddie Stinnett for the BYU team is to the 19-yard line. Excellent pursuit that time by Missouri. Stinnett saw he had nowhere to go to the outside, had to cut it up in the middle, and a lot of white and gold in there to meet him. Cougar center Robert and I lost his shoe on the play. He's over trying to get that shoe back on as the team lines up to call to set the play. 18 seconds, 17 on that clock. He comes over, and Steve Young gives him the signal as they come up. They have nine seconds to get a play underway. Second down and eight. Young back to pass on second down. Does complete. Oh, he dropped it. Stanette had the ball at the 25-yard line. Would have been a first down, and Stanette dropped it. It's one of those cases where you turn upfield to run before you got that ball firmly in your hands. Nicely thrown ball. Popped out of there. Fortunate was not intercepted. There were a couple of Missouri players near. So it's third down and eight for BYU. 2.54 left to play in the first half. The Cougars struggling. They're down 10-7. Steve Young back to pass, has some time. Here's his pass, incomplete. He led uh, Kozlowski at the 30-yard line too much, and it's an incomplete pass, so BYU will be forced to punt. One well, nice thing, there was lots of protection up front for Young. Missouri was trying to put the rush on, but good job picking him up, and just had to rush it off a little bit too much. Missed Kozlowski down there. Lee Johnson in to kick. He'll kick from his own three-yard line. So Missouri will get the ball back and probably in good field position here. They're ahead 
BYU, I guess, right now would settle to keep it there at the end of the half. Here's the kick. Fair catch the signal. And he takes it. Boy, he made a late fair catch signal. Uh, Shorthouse took it, and uh, Missouri will take over first and 10 there with 2.42 to go in the half. Missouri with the ball first and 10 on their own 48-yard line. They have not had a turnover in the game. Adler with a quick pass to the right side. It's caught on the sidelines. A gain of five. John Young for BYU made the tackle as the pass was caught by number 46, George uh, Shorthose. The good thing, they did keep him in bounds. Keeps that clock going, and uh, that time is precious right now for Missouri. They want to keep, they'd like to be able to score right now. They only have about two minutes left. Second and two on the Cougar 45-yard line. Missouri 10, Brigham Young 7. Adler ready. Running play to the big fullback. Met by Brandon Flint right at the line of scrimmage. And then several BYU uh, Cougars come up there, including Whittingham and Marv Allen. Eric Drain gaining a couple of yards. You notice that they went to their right side. They've got that Goody over there, number 76. They have a lot of confidence in him, and when it's third and short, you can bet they're going to look the buddy side of the line. If, or, a good east side of the line to pick up that first down. Well, they did make the first down. Not much to spare. A minute 38 left to play on the first half. First and 10 Missouri on the BYU 42-yard line. Adler fakes the handoff. Back to throw. Does throw. And threw in back of the intended receiver. There was a mix-up that time. There's no doubt. He fired the pass downfield to Kirtland Thomas. Thomas did not look back. The pass went right in back of him. And, you know, he went another 10 yards. Then he turned around. Sure did. Case of timing being off. Uh, timing is so critical. That's one of those plays where they have to be right on the split second to have it go the way they want it to. A minute 26 now left in the first half. And Missouri has second and 10 on the Cougar 42-yard line. The clock stopped on the incomplete pass. Adler brings his team up, high formation, spins around running the option, and is hit hard as he turns around running the option. He was hit by Brandon Flint of BYU. It's interesting how his first move makes it look like the play is going to the left, takes one step that way, then he spins and hits to the right side, but BYU is, is uh, used to it, and they were not faked at all by that first step, and Brandon Flint was right there. Third and nine, the clock running with one minute to go in the first half. Missouri with the ball on the Brigham Young 41-yard line. If BYU can stop him here, they'll force him to punt. That's a big one for BYU. Adler with one setback this time. He's back to pass. The rush is on. Spun to the ground. He does get the pass off. It's caught. And down at the 37-yard line. I don't know if it's enough for the first down or not. BYU hit him just as he threw the ball. He got the pass off to Craig White, and Craig caught it. Did not make the first down. Fourth down, they need a yard for the first down. The clock has stopped since he went out of bounds with 38 seconds to go in the half. Now Missouri calls timeout. If field so Missouri goal, has a timeout on the field. If they were to attempt a field goal from this point, it would be a 50-yard attempt, and they could get it. He, they're... Uh, their field goal kicker does have the range, but it'd be a tough one for him. Of course, if they, uh, with 38 seconds, they could also go for the first down. But if they get it, uh, still have a play or two. Both teams, uh, you don't see this very much, or and it's a new rule last year, you could do so. But right now, the coaches have both teams over the sidelines. Missouri, first of all, sent the entire offensive unit over to talk to their coaching staff. On the opposite side of the field, BYU brought over the defensive unit. Fourth down, they need a yard for the first down on the Cougar 33-yard line. It's Missouri 10, Brigham Young 7. Missouri does have two timeouts left, so I think there's a good chance here they will go for the first down, try and get down a little bit closer, hopefully go for the touchdown, but the least they'd like is, is to have three points. Okay, both teams back on the field with 38 seconds to go in the first half of the Holiday Bowl. Missouri 10, Brigham Young 7. BYU is a three-point favorite going into this game. 
The Cougars have been, uh, well, they've overcome a lot of adversity here in the first half. Things just have not gone well for them, and yet they're still down only three points. Here's the play then, fourth down and a yard to go for the first down. Man in motion coming to the left side. Adler with the ball, gives to Drain his fullback, and Drain gains the first down yardage. Now Missouri will immediately call timeout. He's down to the BYU 30-yard line. So the Missouri Tigers again call timeout. Our thanks to the BYU Cougar Club for all of the uh, support we received from them. Great organization boosting BYU sports. And there are a lot of Cougar Club fans here to this holiday, holiday bowl game. A couple of chartered airliners uh, bringing fans down from Utah and many other Cougar Club members joining them here in California. They had some special entertainment, a lot of special things happening here. BYU will receive to start the second half, or at least I think they have the option for the second half. As play resumes, it's first and 10 for Missouri on the BYU 30-yard line with 34 seconds left to play in the first half. Missouri has one timeout remaining. Brigham Young has three. That defensive unit's been on the field a long time for the Cougars, especially this quarter. They certainly have, but they've done a fine job. They sent a man in motion to the left. Adler with the ball. Adler still has it, looking to pass. Has some time. Here's his pass. Juggled. It's in the air. It's intercepted. BYU gets it. I think it's Todd Shell who came up with it for the Cougars. And Goody from uh, the Missouri team went after a couple of BYU players. There is a BYU player down on the field, too. Looks like Kyle Morrell, number five. Well, the ball was tipped in the air, and Shell got it. See, so here's the pass. He had it for a moment, then it's batted in the air. And it's big Todd Shell, the Cougar linebacker, who grabbed the ball. Kyle Morrell was shaken up a little bit. He was the man that got in there with that tremendous hit on the receiver causing that ball to be batted in the air. He came off the field pretty much by himself, however. I think he just had his wind knocked out. Kyle Morrell, number five for BYU. So the Cougars stop a Missouri drive, and BYU at 25 seconds to go has the ball on their own 17-yard line. That might turn things around. Steve Young at quarterback. Young will pass on first down. Fires it downfield, complete. Completed it to midfield to Adam Haysburg for BYU with 19 seconds to go. Stops the clock. Well, BYU could get down there and tie it up. There's Boy, 19 seconds. They have three timeouts. With passing like that, they could very well do it. You'd have thought they might just sit on the ball, run out the time, but they went for it right away. Steve Young passing to Adam Haysburg. First down, BYU on the Cougar 37-yard line with 19 seconds to go in the half. That was the first turnover, by the way, in BYU's favor. Young back to pass again. Good protection this time. Gets it off, and Casey Tiamalo catches it. And goes out of bounds. He's out to the 45-yard line. That's efficient football. They only used up four seconds that time. Good job getting back in the pocket, finding T Casey Tiamalo out there in the flat. Tiamalo wisely went out of bounds and stopped the clock. It's on the 45-yard line of uh, BYU with 15 seconds left to play in the first half of the football game. Missouri leading 10 to 7. Get one more big gainer here. They might get close enough for a field goal attempt. Young back to pass. Three-man rush. He's chased out of the pocket. Will BYU call timeout? They do. Young has dropped. Nine seconds left to go. Young couldn't find anybody to throw to that time. BYU, He's down at the 46. BYU only has time for one more play, probably before they uh, before they go for a field goal or whatever. They've got to have a good gainer on this next one. Nine seconds left to go in the first half of the game. The Cougars have just called timeout. They got an interception on a deflection. They've been intercepted three times in the game, a couple of times on just on uh, balls that were tipped. Seven for BYU, 10 for Missouri. You see the Cougar coaches 
talking things over on the sidelines with the uh, offensive unit. BYU has the ball on the Missouri 46 yard line. Missouri's defensive line has been doing a lot of stunting tonight where the, the uh, nose guard and the, and the defensive end tackle will loop with each other, doing some twists and so forth, trying to, trying to throw off the offensive line. And it has been successful on a few occasions tonight. Okay, for BYU, Kozlowski out wide to the left, Pendleton wide to the right. We have Stanett and Tiamalo in the backfield. Nine seconds left in the half. Young back to pass. Pretty good protection. Here's his pass downfield, complete to Kozlowski. And they stopped the clock. Two seconds. They did get the clock stopped. There's also a flag down on the play. There's a penalty marker down. BYU is called timeout. See what the penalty marker is. I think it's going to be on the Cougars. Here's it is. Kozlowski caught that ball down near the 30 yard line, but BYU will be called with illegal motion. Oh my, they were close enough that at least had a shot at a field goal, but now there's only two seconds left in the half. Would have been a 47 yard attempt, and Lee Johnson has hit a number from that range. So BYU with a motion penalty. You know, though, uh, Oren, you get the feeling right now that BYU is starting to put it together a little bit more. They're getting in the, with the game more right now. Well, they're being very aggressive. They're not sitting back at all. They're going right. after it, and and uh, the the offensive line is giving Young some time back there. That's that's critical. He has to have that time. Missouri's defensive line put pressure on him early in the game. The very first play of the game, Steve Young was put on his back. And it'll be Young trying to throw for something here. Pendleton out to the left side for BYU. Edo to the right side. Young at quarterbacks, Tiamalo and Stanett the setbacks. Young back to pass, fakes once, here's the throw, Stanett catches it on the sidelines and is driven out of bounds, and that should end the first half of the ball game. After one half of play, the score, the University of Missouri 10, Brigham Young 7, we'll be back in just a moment. Jay Monson and Oren Olson from San Diego, California, Missouri leading BYU 10-7 as we start the second half. Uh, total yardage in the first half, BYU at 167 yards, Missouri 157. The Cougars had one more first down, 10-9, but they trail by a score of 10-7, three interceptions, a big difference, right, Oren? The interceptions was the key. Two of those were scored on by Missouri. They were interceptions inside BYU's 40-yard yard line. Both of them were tipped passes. And uh, so it's really been kind of a fluky game for BYU so far. Their defense for BYU has kept them in this game, though, stopping Missouri a few times getting when they've gotten down into BYU territory. Okay, BYU will receive to start the second half of the football game. So we have Kelly Smith and Bill McNabb back deep for BYU. And for uh, Missouri, they're ready to kick off. Burdett will kick off for the Tigers from Missouri. BYU uh, in the hole a lot during the first half of the football game. A big interception for the Cougars right towards the end of the first half. Helped to prevent further score. Here's the kickoff. It's taken at the three-yard line. That's the 10. That's the 15. That's the 20. And out to the 24-yard line is Kelly Smith for BYU. So Brigham Young will take over first and 10 there. And Mills of BYU is shaken up on the play. He's hobbling as he comes out of the game. Like he hurt his left leg, a Cougar backup tight end, Dave Mills. It's about the first time on a kickoff that BYU has been able to get it out past the 20-yard line on the run back. A better job of blocking that time, a good run by Smith. Okay, let's see what the BYU offense can do now here in the second half. Gained only 167 total yards. Young pass for only 98 yards in the first half. Missouri, a very quick defensive team. First down play, swing over the left side to Stanett. Stead back inside is down at the 28-yard line. Quick pass to the left side to Eddie Stanett, the Cougars' uh, halfback. Part of the problem on that play, uh, they were expecting to have a block out of Lewis Wong, number 70, and he slipped out there and missed the block, and, and uh, his man was able to force Stanett inside. Okay, picking things up, uh, Missouri just kicked off to BYU. Kelly Smith returned the ball to the 23-yard line. The first play after that, a pass to Stanett for four yards, and BYU has second and six on the Cougars' own 27-yard line. Missouri leading BYU 10-7. Okay. Right. 
Young, second down call. That's the draw to Casey Tiamalo. Knocked uh, off balance, but regains it and gets a first down for BYU. Nice run by little Casey. Sure was, but superb blocking up front that time. A good job by Casey of keeping his feet, getting up close to that first down. But the real key to it is the blocking up front. BYU pulls a guard on that, and excellent blocking up front for, for uh, Casey Tiamalu. First and 10, Brigham Young, the tackle on the play by left end Lenson Staples. Well, let's see, I'll have to back up. They did not quite make the first down then. After checking it, it is just short of the yardage for the first down. And now Brigham Young calls a timeout. Third down, less than a yard for BYU, and Steve Young coming over. It's 10 7 Missouri leading the start of the third period. We'll be right back. BYU looking at third down and inches to go for a first down on their own 32 yard line as play resumes. The Cougars called time went over to the sidelines. They have two tight ends in now, Burroughs and uh, Harper. Kozlowski goes in motion for BYU. Steve Young dives for the first down. He just took a step to the left and dove forward and made it. Interesting too, Steve Young, with a little change up in his cadence out there, was able to get the Missouri line to flinch. They were in the process of getting back to their side of the line of scrimmage when they ran the play, so they kind of got Missouri back on their heels and was, they were able to pick up the first down. First and 10, BYU on their own 33-yard line. The Cougars have had only one scoring thrust in the game. They did uh, turn it into a score, and it's a 10-7 ball game, Missouri leading. Young back to pass on first down. Has some time, gets the pass off, completes it to his tight end, Harper, who fumbled the ball. And it was caught in midair by Missouri, and there's another turnover. Harper would have had a first down to midfield, but a fumble, and Missouri recovered it. Well, they hit Harper very hard. One man from behind, one man, one man in front of him. Popped that ball out of there. That's the third time today BYU has turned over the ball in their own territory. And you're doing it against a very fine Missouri team. BYU's defense, however, has done a, a tough job stopping Missouri uh, a number of times in this part of the field. Well, the game started with BYU having the ball in good position, and they gave it up on an interception. So here at the start of the second half, Missouri has another opportunity. Adler with the ball, delayed handoff to his tailback, and he's hit pretty hard as he gets uh, through the line of scrimmage by Kyle Morrell, BYU safety. Red was the ball carrier, the tailback. Turnovers have really been the name of the game so far. Four of them for BYU, only one for Missouri. And that's the difference right now. Missouri is up by just three points, but it's the turnovers that have made that difference. Forget the turnover, BYU would have had first down at the 50-yard line. Second down and six for Missouri. Adler with the ball, handoff straight ahead to his fullback. And he's to the 35-yard uh, line. Eric Drain carrying. Cougars have had a good defensive effort today by Brandon Flint, who was in on that stop. They've done a pretty good job slowing down that Missouri run. Missouri has only tried to throw the ball two or three times without great success. They have, however, had two successful screen plays. Third and three. Third and three at the 35 for the Tigers of Missouri. Adler still with the ball. There's the pitch back. Will they turn the corner for it? It's going to be close. John read, the ball John read the carrier and John Young for BYU, the tackler. I think he made it. A look across field, uh, may have to measure it. They will, they'll have to measure it. So it's going to be very close. Ran the option that time. Good speed by little John Red, a freshman running back. At that time, Jim Herman lost his footing. Had he been able to keep his feet, he would have been able to take the quarterback. That would have freed up one of the linebackers to go out on the pitch man. As it was, he lost his feet. The uh, linebacker had to take the quarterback, and that gave uh, that gave Missouri a little bit of a, an edge man-wise out there. Well, they make the first down, too. Just enough first yardage down. for the first down. So Missouri, after recovering a BYU fumble on a pass completion, now threatening to score again. 11.30 left to play in the third quarter. It's Missouri 10, Brigham Young 7. Missouri is hitting very hard out there. That's uh, to cause a fumble like that uh, with tight end Harper. They've got to be hitting pretty hard. Adler with two men wide to the right. First down play gives to Red. 
Red skirting to the outside, slipping tackles. Finally spun to the ground at the 30-yard line. He ran a long ways for about a two-yard gain as BYU spread out that run, and Young made the tackle. They kept coming up there. They, they were missing tackles, but there were enough people coming at him that they were finally able to bring him down up there. Here's a chance to see it again. See Red, a freshman tailback. Chase to the outside. Never did get a lot of forward momentum going. For a minute there, number 68 had his hand on the back of uh, Marv Allen's jersey, holding, trying to hold him back. Second down, about seven yards to go. Adler, delayed handoff again to that tailback. Gains down to the 25-yard line. Red. BYU nose guard Brad Smith, the tackler. So it's third down for Missouri. And what they do succeed in doing is uh, running a lot of time off the clock. They certainly do. They're just plowing straight ahead. Uh, not a lot of pizzazz to that offense, but they're picking up three yards every time they run the ball, and that's all you need. They have third and three now on the 25-yard line. And it's a running play. Drain broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage and gets the first down. He was hit behind the line of scrimmage, but it didn't stop him, and Morrell had to make the stop for BYU, and Drain has another first down for uh, Missouri. Marv Allen hit him first of all. You've got to hit Drain straight on. You can't bring him down just with your little hands. He's got such power, you've got to really get into him to, to stop that momentum. 207-pound sophomore fullback. So Missouri threatening to score here in the third quarter. They have first and 10 on the BYU 20-yard line. First play, it's Drain up the middle. Oh, they stand him up this time. No gain. Drain stopped at the line of scrimmage by BYU. Last time Missouri got down this deep in BYU territory, last time Missouri was down this deep in BYU territory, BYU got the interception at the end of the first half. That was a good defensive play by Cougar nose guard Brad Smith. Second and 10 at the 20 yard line for Missouri. It's not a new man in the game. Number 22, that's Sandio Barbosa, is in at fullback replacing Drain. They split men both to the left and the right out of the uh, eye formation. Adler with the ball running the option. He'll keep it himself. Oh, good run. He's down to the 10 yard line. First down across the 10 yard line. So Missouri ahead 10 to 7, and they're trying to put seven more on the board right now. That was an excellent call by Missouri. Just before the snap of the ball, Brandon Flint, 99, shifted inside. And that's just what Missouri wanted. They were able to block him to the inside and hey, around the corner. Warren, I need to interrupt. Uh, Adler is hurt. Adler is hurt on the play over there. Looks like his leg is injured. So they're out on the field to check him right now. Their backup quarterback is a sophomore, Warren Seitz. More from the Holiday Bowl. Seitz is now in at quarterback for Missouri. As Adler was hurt, they have a first down on the nine-yard line. The first play is a running play. Drain pulls his way to the five-yard line. Seitz is a sophomore from uh, Topeka, Kansas. I don't know if he's played too much this year. He's thrown for 143 yards. No, he's rushed for 143 and thrown for 107. Side still with the ball himself down at the three yard line. He faked to one man, kept it himself, and the middle of the BYU line piled him up. Often, the BYU defense has played well. Often when a new quarterback comes in such as this, an offense can lose momentum just because they have a different person at the helm. So far, they have not shown that. Another thing you'll often see is uh, maybe some fumbles between the quarter, the quarterback and the center, just because of having a different person in there. Well, they have third and goal on the three-yard line now. They're ahead by three points. Key play of the ball game. Sights a long count. It's a pitch back trying to turn the corner. They fumble the football. BYU gets it. The Cougars recover the fumble. There's a real fight down on the field for the ball, but BYU's got it. They're still going after it on the field, but the officials say it's a Cougars ball. That's John Young who comes up with the ball. Here's a replay. Sights the pitch back. Good hard hit for BYU.
Well, maybe that'll be a turning point for the Cougars. John Young recovers the fumble. There's timeout on the field. The Cougars down 10-7. Jay Monson and Oren Olson at the Holiday Bowl. First and 10 Cougars at the six-yard line. Young gives on the draw to Casey Tiamalo. Casey down at the line of scrimmage. No gain. Couple things. Okay, first of all, the quarterback, Adler from Missouri, has a badly sprained ankle. They have ice on it. It'll be five or six minutes before they know if he can play anymore today. Uh, BYU with a great fumble recovery. We think that uh, Shell made the hit. John Young did recover it. Beautiful hit out there. A couple of people in there with some nice hard hits. Just an outstanding play for BYU. That's the second time they've re uh, recovered the ball, taking the ball over deep in their own territory. There's John Young who recovered that fumble. Second down and 10 for BYU on their own six yard line. Young with the ball, back to throw out of the end zone. Throwing way down the sidelines and it is incomplete. Flag down. They'll call pass interference. The pass was intended for Adam Haysbert, and the coach from Missouri Powers is livid. He is really upset over that call. When the flag was dropped at the 45-yard line. Coach Powers is contending that their feet just got tangled up incidentally. Powers was very upset after the fumble recovery. He was out on the field talking to the, co to the officials and was really upset then. But BYU gets a big break. Lots of time for Young back in the pocket. Good blocking up front by his people. Look, he's back in the end zone throwing that ball. Haysbert is tripped down here right there. You see the player trip him as the ball is approaching him. First and 10, Brigham Young on the Cougars 44-yard line. So instead of being down something like 17-7, uh, to 7, they're down 10-7 to 7 and have the ball at midfield. Young to throw, does throw, completes it in the middle of the field to the 45-yard line to Pendleton on a look-in pass. There's a flag down. There uh, looks like it's on Missouri. I think the I think the defensive man was really frustrated with the with the block of Craig Garrick and was probably trying to hit Garrick. Garrick had him pushed almost out of the side off the field. That's a call. It's a personal foul on Missouri. It was on number 61, Lenson Staples, I think. Garrick was doing a fine job of blocking and was pushing him off the field and. I think in frustration, he must have took a swipe at, uh, at Craig Garrick. Well, Brigham Young with a great scoring opportunity now. This is the first chance they've had since that first quarter when they scored. It is. It's been interesting this year. Early in the year, BYU had a number of drives where they scored on three or four plays. Late in the season, it took more. This could be one of those short drives. Actually, for BYU, their score came in the second quarter. I said the first quarter. First and 10 on the Missouri 31-yard line. Steve Young trying to get the Cougars in the end zone again. He's back to pass. Good protection this time. Looks, throws for the sidelines. It's caught by Kozlowski. Kozlowski knocked out of bounds. Early in the game, BYU was having trouble with the blitz. Uh, it was coming from a weak safety, coming from Young's blind side. That time, Tiamalo stayed in there, number 20, and picked up the blitz, gave him the time he needed to get that pass down to, to Kozlowski. Fine, fine job by Kozlowski getting open. Okay, first and 10, BYU. First and 10, BYU on the uh, Missouri 14-yard line. So Brigham Young trying to take the lead for the first time in the game. Young fakes that, it's a reverse, end around. Kozlowski with the ball being chased and dropped for a loss. And now a flag goes down. They may have got him by the face mask. Kozlowski was dropped at the 24-yard line, and a flag was dropped. Well, the brakes just are not going for Missouri right now. That's the third call against him in this drive alone. Here's the call. It is a face mask penalty against Missouri. So the Golden or the Tigers are really getting hurt by penalties on this drive. Kozlowski is uh, showing that, that that hurt his neck too. Coach Powers, a little upset over things. I'm sure he is. Here's the play again as BYU used the end around. Kozlowski did not have the speed to outrun the good defensive Ooh. men. You can see his head Missouri. turn there as that man grabbed him by the face mask. That does hurt. Here will come the walk-off now from the 24-yard line. Looks like that's the inadvertent face mask call. 19-yard line, but it's a first down. So first and 10. For BYU, or not, not first and 10, first and 14 for BYU. 
on the 19 yard line. Brigham Young down by three points and trying to take the lead for the first time in this game. They have never been ahead. We have 542 left to play in the third quarter. Young back to pass. They come at him, throws it right over the middle. He had to unload in a hurry, and it was incomplete. Intended for Edo, but it was short. Ken Edo is coming into the game after missing a number of weeks with that broken, broken bone in his shoulder. Adler of Missouri is sitting over the bench with a big ice pack around his ankle. Well, to me, uh, the way they're working on that, I don't know if he'll get back in or not, Oren. He must have sprained it pretty good to, to be out like that. Second down and 14 for BYU on the 19-yard line as the, draw, uh, the uh, drive stalls just a bit right now. There goes Kozlowski in motion over the right. Young back to pass. No gives on the draw. Tiamalo skirting to the outside. He's down to the 14-yard line. BYU's going to have to do more of that. Uh, Casey's done a good job tonight on the draw. They'll have to do that because Missouri is just laying their ears back and putting out an all-out pass rush on every play. If BYU can have some successful draw plays, plays and run plays like that, they'll get Missouri to be a little bit more cautious on their rush. Well, Missouri's defense stiffening. Third and 11 for BYU from the 15-yard line. So they need 11 yards or else it'll be up to uh, Lee Johnson and his foot to tie the game. Two men wide to the right, Edo and Pendleton. Young back to pass. They drop him. He couldn't get it rid, rid of it. And big number 95, Taft Sales, got him from behind. So BYU's drive does stall. This has been a good defensive football game. It certainly has. Missouri's got a tough defense. They have more sacks on uh, Steve Young than almost any other team this season. But I think another factor on that, everyone was covered. Young has some time here, but everybody's covered. Johnson will be kicking from the 29-yard line, so it's a 39-yard field goal attempt for Lee Johnson. He is 11 of 23 this year on field goals, and he's trying to tie the score here. It's placed down. Here's the kick. Not a lot of distance, and it's high, and it's off to the left, and he missed it. So the Missouri defense holds. After BYU came all the way downfield, they're unable to score, and with timeout on the field, it's still a 10-7 ball game. Jay Monson and Oren Olson at the Holiday Bowl in San Diego. We have four minutes and a second left to go in the third quarter of the ball game. And it's 10-7 Missouri leading. Missouri's starting quarterback has been hurt, however. So he is out of the game now. And Warren Seitz is in to replace him. Warren has been in nine games this year. Has not played an awful lot. First and 10. Missouri on their own 22-yard line. Sides at quarterback. There's the handoff, delayed handoff, and a big hole up the middle. John Red, the ball carrier. Red, the ball carrier. Morrell for BYU, and uh, also Jensen making the stop, but he ran it out to the 30 yard line. Good job of Sides setting up the draw play, going back as if it was a pass. BYU did just what they wanted him to. They rushed straight up the field, allowing him to open, open up a nice hole. Second down and two for Missouri, second and one make it. It's on the 31-yard line. Sites with the ball, goes over the uh, right side through the line and Drain has a first down for the Missouri Tigers. Missouri 10, Brigham Young seven. The lowest point total this year for Brigham Young was 24 points against Colorado State. This is the lowest score for BYU at this point in the game all year long. Even in the Colorado State game, they had more points at this time. Missouri with the ball now. First and 10 on their own 38-yard line. Seitz looks things over and calls timeout. There was something wrong out there. So there's timeout on the field with now 2.59 left to go in the third quarter. And it's Missouri 10, Brigham Young 7. Missouri with the football, first and 10 on their own 38. Sites with the ball, the delayed hand. It's fumbled, it's free. Who gets it? BYU. The Cougars forced to fumble and they get the football. That's the second fumble since Sites came in, which is interesting. Second time they've fumbled the ball since Sites came into the game. 
It's Neff of Brigham Young, a linebacker who comes up with the football. So the Cougars definitely have the ball. Here's the play again. See, it goes bouncing free. Neff went after it right away for the Cougars. Well, you can't get two better opportunities than BYU's had, but the defense made them. They sure did. They've been playing very aggressive ball. We've seen good defensive play by both teams today. 2.47 to go in the third quarter now, and Brigham Young has the ball, first and 10 on the Missouri 33-yard line. That is the third Missouri turnover in the game. Two lost fumbles and one interception. Young will pass on first down. Right over the middle to Stanette. Stanette might score. He's down to five. He's in there. Right over the middle to Stanette. And for the first time in the ball game, Brigham Young has the lead. A 33-yard pass play to Stanette. Steve Young saw the blitz coming. You can see the linebackers coming over the middle. That opens up Stanette wide open. He's one-on-one -on -one with number 95 who cannot stay with him. Look at him go. He's headed for that goal line. Beautiful job. Eddie Sadat taking it in for the touchdown pass. That is his second touchdown pass of the year. And Brigham Young now has the lead over Missouri by a score of 13 to 10. And Lee Johnson will try the extra point. He's 53 of 56 this year. Here's the kick. The kick is good. So BYU at two minutes and 39 seconds left to play in the third quarter has the lead over Missouri. The Cougars 14 and Missouri has 10. That time, uh, excellent job by Young picking up a blitz again, throwing that ball to Stanette. What a turnaround we've seen here. Missouri had the ball and uh, that turnover by the defense opened it up. The defense for BYU has been what has kept them in this game. Otherwise, Missouri would be ahead at this point. But the defense has been doing just a superb job holding Missouri. Here's that touchdown pass to Stanette. As you say, he had a, was a linebacker on him? No, the left end, Taft Sales. And Sales, Sales wasn't two, fast enough. He's 220 pounds. There's no way he's going to catch Stanette. Stanette is, is uh, probably the fastest man on the team. Brigham Young 14, Missouri 10, and BYU will kick off to the Tigers with 2.39 left to go in the third quarter of the football game. So the Cougar crowd finally has something to really cheer about. You can see Steve Young there giving his team some instructions on the sidelines. He is a great leader, just a tremendous leader. He's respected by the team, and uh, I think that leadership that he has is, is probably one of the reasons they have been so, so successful this year. And we were just talking a minute ago about you had to go way back before BYU was held to as low as seven points. Johnson kicks the ball back to the one, one yard deep in the end zone. He's not going to run it out. Oh. Boy, he's lucky. He took one step. It looked like he was going to go out. He saw those blue jerseys charging down on him, and fortunately, he was able to stop. He put on those brakes before he hit the goal line. All right, again, I was just saying we checked in the book, and you had to go way back before BYU was held to as low as seven points. It won't happen. They're in double figures here. They sure are, and I, I think if the offense can, and defense can keep working as well as they have, I think we'll see more points. The qu quarterback, Marlon Adler, is still over on the sidelines with his ankle taped up. So we have their backup man, Sites, in at quarterback. First and 10 from the 20. The first play is a running play. Oh, do they stack him up this time? That BYU team's really getting pumped up. Well, we've seen such a turnaround ever since Adler went out of the game and Sites came in. It's just been a completely different game for BYU's defense and Missouri's offense. Super game by that BYU defense today. They've given up only that uh, touchdown and field goal, and both times they were scored on, it's when the offense had committed a turnover to give them an opportunity to score against BYU. Second down and 10. Sites at quarterback. Sites gives on a delayed handoff this time. And they gain four, maybe five yards. I know how that is to lose your quarterback. I was on the BYU's team in 1974 in the Fiesta Bowl when Gary Scheide was knocked out of the game early. And it, it really hurt us. We ended up losing the game to Oklahoma State. It, it takes so much away from you when you lose your leader. And uh, at this point, Missouri does not have their leader in there. Vernon Boyd was the ball carrier in the last play. And he gained about five yards. Call it third and five from the 25. 
Sites with the ball. Running the option. They did not make the first down. It looked like he uh, started to hand it off, then pulled it back, and Sites himself is tackled by several BYU players, including Todd Shell. There you see Adler with his left foot. See the big uh, ice pack wrapped around it? Boy, the size it's of that ice pack, I don't know if he's going to be back in there. They've got it elevated to keep the blood it's draining. It's his right foot. I was wrong. It's his right foot, too. They've got his foot elevated to have the blood drain down. This means, too, Arne, I'm interrupting, but they have a new punter in because Adler is usually their punter. So right. the punter is Todd Richmond punting. Here's the kick. May have kicked it off the side of his foot. BYU will let it roll at midfield. Oh, it almost touched a BYU player. BYU with the ball, first and 10 for the Cougars on their own 39-yard line. Steve Young might have just changed the play. Young back to throw, looking around. Pretty good protection. Down the sidelines. Oh, he overthrew Edo. Edo was wide open at the 40-yard line, but he overthrew him a little bit. Like you said, Young probably checked off at the line of scrimmage to a different play. He knew it would be open, and it was, but unfortunately, just a, about a foot too far. We've just received word that uh, the ankle sprain for Adler is uh, very severe, and they do not think he'll get back in the game. It's his right ankle, and it's a bad one. That's certainly unfortunate for, unfortunate for Missouri. It's taken such a the fizzle out of their offense since he's come out of there. Second down and 10 for BYU on their own 38-yard line. Cougars ahead now. Young back to pass. Here's the throw. Tipped in the air and incomplete. Tended for Kozlowski. Almost intercepted by number 23, Jeff Smith. 23 seconds to go on the third quarter. Young showing excellent composure, staying in that pocket. There were Missouri players going behind him and, and pressing in from the front, but patiently he waited there until the right moment to throw that ball out toward Kozlowski. Or, and it's hard to chase that BYU offense an entire game. You it know, uh, Young scrambling, the number of receivers they have in there, they might be getting a little tired. Well, you can bet they are. There's some big men out there, and, and late in the game, they do get tired. Third and 10 for BYU. Young back to pass. Runs up, throws, completes it to Wayman Hamilton. Wayman Hamilton fighting for yardage is down. Wayman was trying to pick up a little extra yardage, cutting back and forth, but they caught up with him there and, and Just, dropped. They do not have the first down yardage. So BYU in a punting down, and the time runs out. That ends the third quarter. After three quarters of play at Brigham Young 14, Missouri 10, we'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. You're watching Holiday Bowl number six. We start the fourth quarter. I'm Jay Monson along with Oren Olson and BYU in a punting down. Fourth down, a snap a little low, but Johnson has it. Here's his kick. Oh, does he boom one? He really kicked that, and it just does get into the end zone. That landed at the three-yard line. Fine punt. That was a nice 56-yard kick. His earlier two kicks were only average 36 yards. That's more like the Lee Johnson that we've seen all year long. Well, the BYU defense comes out there, and what a game the, the uh, Cougar defense has played. They've kept BYU in the game, waiting for the offense to do something, and the offense did just that in the third quarter to take the lead. I think the major thing that has happened is, is that Gordon Hudson? The major thing that has happened also with, by the BYU defense, they did put Adler out of the game, and that has been a big turning point. First and 10, Missouri on the 20-yard line. Sites at quarterback. Sites with the ball, looks to pass. Little swing to the left side, and he gains about six yards before he's knocked out of bounds. They use that pass. Uh, that's been their main passing weapon, just throwing quickly to the sidelines. It has. They, they fake a handoff to the right side that time. He turns quickly and throws it out there and has a, has a couple of linemen going out to block on a quick screen. That time, Shell was out there, did a good job of fighting off the block, and he was almost clipped as he was going to make the tackle. I think it was a very close call. Second down and three for Missouri on the 27-yard line of the Tigers. Sites with the ball, hand off to his fullback, and he gains the first down. Eric That's Eric Drain sliding off to the right side and getting the first down yardage. Neff to the linebacker uh, backer to tackle him. Brigham Young 14, Missouri 10, and one minute has now gone by in the fourth quarter. The defense trying to protect a four-point lead. Again, since Sites came in the game, they've fumbled the ball twice. 
been quite a turnaround for the Missouri offense since he came into the game. First down play now from the 30-yard line. Sites with the ball, looking to pass, does pass, completes it to midfield. Boy, he zipped that one down there. And Missouri has a first down on the 50-yard line. He set the floor to the left, stepped back, and fired downfield. Neff, Morrell, and Peterson made the stop as the ball was caught by Craig White. Missouri didn't throw the ball off him, but the, the play action pass like this has been very effective. Takes the hand off to the left side, then a quick pass out there, it just caught BYU unaware. Short holes was able to get in between the linebackers and the defensive back. First down then for Missouri. They're now at the 50 yard line. Sites with the ball. That's Drain, his big fullback, and he bowls straight forward for several yards. He's inside the 45 yard line. Eric Drain played very well. This is the first drive that since Sites came in that Missouri has been able to move the ball. Looks like they've got some pretty good speed going now down the field. The field is in pretty good shape out there. I have not seen people slipping at all. It's not wet at all. Good surface to play on. Maybe a bit hard. Second down. Second and five on the BY on the 39-yard uh, line. Boy, that's Drain all the way down to the BYU 30-yard line. He's a good football player. He's had a good game. Salazar from BYU tackled him. But Missouri will have a first and ten on the Cougar 31-yard line. This might be one of those games where the team that has the ball last wins. Good blocking up front that time. You see him taking Brad Smith out of the play. Beautiful hole, and Drain just pops through there. He's rushed for 67 yards in the game. First and ten, Missouri on the BYU 31-yard line. Good drive for the Tigers. Sides gives to Drain. Flag goes down. Drain, who's been a workhorse in this game, carrying. He was also watching number 76, Conrad Goody, go down. He took a late shot on Bobby Salazar, who was standing down. Hey, it's a face mask penalty on Brigham Young. So the Cougars are hurt with a penalty. Drain comes out of the game now, replaced by Santiago Barbosa, a sophomore fullback. They walk out the five-yard the five penalty against the Cougars. The ball's down to the 27-yard line. Five-yard penalty on the Cougars. Missouri then with the football, first down. First down, they do two yards for a first down, and they're on the Brigham Young 24-yard line. So Sites has them on the move right now. The backup quarterback. He has the ball to throw, does throw, completes it. Completes it to inside the 10-yard line. Morrell made the hit for BYU, the initial hit. But Sites zips one downfield to George Shorthose. Same play they used earlier, but not quite as deep on the pass. Very quick pass. The play action pass is, is doing very well for him. They're just freezing the defensive lineman just long enough to get the ball off. First and goal for Missouri on the Brigham Young eight yard line. BYU ahead 14 to 10, but Missouri trying to regain the lead. They led from the start of the game right up until the, uh, just a few minutes ago. Sites with the ball, still has it on the option. He dives inside, and he's down near the two or three yard line. Brandon Flint had his hand on his jersey, but Sites was able to tear away from him and, and get down close to that goal line. It'll be second and goal for Missouri. 11 minutes and 12 seconds to play in this football game. Missouri trailing by four points. Second and goal on the two yard line. Remember, Missouri fumbled. Last quarter at this point, and BYU recovered it. It's a big turnaround in the game. Sites with a long count gives to Drain. And I think Drain made it. He did. Eric Drain gets into the end zone. End zone, and Missouri has the lead again. It's now Missouri out in front. They have 16, and Brigham Young has 14. Looks like they're going to have a little leapfrogging score-wise here. Good blocking up front. 
they have some very powerful people, especially Goody, number 76, powering their way through there. Well, Drain dives in. He's played very well for Missouri. And with 10.49 left to play in a football game, Missouri has the lead 16-14. to 14. Trying to kick the extra point is Brad uh, Burdett. He has one field goal in the game and is one for one from the uh, trying extra points. And his kick is good. He is now 33 of 35 on the season with timeout on the field. It's now Missouri 17, Brigham Young 14. We'll be right back. Burdett kicking off. McNabb and Smith are back deep for Brigham Young. Both standing right at the goal line. And here's the kick. High end over end. It's come down short. Taken at the 15-yard 15, 15 line. They signal a fair catch there. Signal a fair catch uh, to take that ball, was, which was kicked short. Jeff Wilcox of BYU caught that. On a fair, I have uh, seldom you see that on a kickoff. He's not their normal man. I guess he just didn't want to take a chance of fumbling it. He really was surprised to end up with the ball and, and uh, decided to take the safe way. He just stood there and signaled the fair catch. Well, BYU will have to start deep again, and they've had to do this much of the game today. First and ten for the Cougars on their own 16-yard line. BYU with a lot of shifting. They bring Tiamano back from the slot as a setback. And Young to throw, does throw, completes it on the sidelines for a gain of about five yards to Kozlowski. The thing Missouri has succeeded in doing, especially on that last drive, they ran a lot of time off the clock, probably about four and a half minutes. And uh, time is going to be valuable going down the stretch here. BYU has to take advantage of this scoring drive because Missouri has the capability of running lots of time off that clock. Caver made the tackle. Brad Smith, uh, the Cougars. He injured? Oh, they have ice on him. BYU with the ball. There's a pass to Sinet. Sinet to gain the tackle after he got it. But it's enough for the first down. First the pass to Kozlowski, now to Sinet. Short ones, but put the two of them together, they've got a first down. Missouri drops back quickly, and it is open for those short ones, as we've seen on the last two plays. So BYU will have a first down. They trail right now, 17 to 14, and they have the ball first and 10 on the Cougars' 28-yard line. As Young tries to put together a good drive here. He still has the ball, gets the pass off. Caught on the sidelines, or is he out of bounds? That's the Wayman Hamilton. This thing, he was out of, bounds. He's out of bounds. Wayman Hamilton caught it, but he stepped out of bounds and he came down to the ball. Young had to throw that one quickly. He was out of bounds. This is second down. Does stop the clock. And again, time is going to be valuable here in this fourth quarter. There's only a little over nine minutes left. BYU's got to get another TD, and they've got to be able to hold Missouri. BYU on a second down call. Young lots of time this time. He may run the ball. He skirts to the outside and then is down as he cuts back inside. Kimalo slipped through the middle. He blocked for a minute, then slipped up the middle. He was wide open there, but Young had a lot of tall Missouri players around him and could not see Kimalo open there. After three quarters of play, the stats very even. BYU 245 total yards, Missouri 243, and Young is now passed. 183 yards coming into the fourth quarter. Brigham Young with third down and five on the 33-yard line. Here's a big play for the Cougars, a trail by three points. Young has changed the play, I think, at the line of scrimmage. He's back to throw. Does throw. Completes it. Completes it to the 50-yard line for a big first down to Adam Haysford. Adam Haysford did a superb job of getting his feet down there. That's what you call a tightrope job. He had to get him down, and he did it. Well, Missouri put together a drive and went downfield to take the lead. Now the Cougars trying to do it. And Young on third and five. Let's see. Watch Haysburg. Yeah, he got that foot down. Well, that was close. 
sure was. Looks like a, a ballerina on point sticking that toe down. First and 10, BYU, the 49-yard line. There's a fumble. And Missouri gets the ball. So Brigham Young gives it up in midfield. The ball recovered by number 97, Pat Burns. And BYU hurt with another turnover. It's been the story today. The turnovers have hurt BYU so much. Second fumble. They've had three interceptions. It really hurt. 8.44 left to go in this ball game. Missouri with the ball. First and 10 on the BYU 47 after the fumble recovery. Sites gives to Drain. Drain dives over the middle and then backs his way forward. Close to the 40-yard line. He has quite, had quite a football game today. See, through the first three quarters, Drain had rushed for 68 yards. So had Red. For BYU, Tiamalo had 60 yards rushing. Second down, they've just announced Drain has got over 100 yards rushing now. It's only the second time this year they've had a player go over 100 yards. Second and three, second and four for Missouri. Okay, there's a uh, drive down to the 40-yard line. Brad Smith of BYU is being taken off the field now, has received a neck injury, so they're taking him off the field to check on that. He played a good football game for BYU. It's going to hurt BYU not having him in the middle, but they do have some good backup people. Now backing him up is Larry Hamilton, who's in the game right now. Third down and three for Missouri. And it's a, no, he still has the football. The quarterback, Sites, first down, yardage. To the 32-yard line, Morrell tackled him. Missouri trying to score right now, and in so doing, hoping to put the game away out of the reach of the Cougars. They've been able to do what they wanted to today, and that's keep the ball, well, play ball control, put it that way. They have BYU's been cooperating, too, giving them some turnovers. A lot of them. 17-14, Missouri, and the clock running with 7.20 left to play, and the Tigers have a first down on the BYU 32-yard line, and Seitz is doing very well now at quarterback. Seitz with the ball. That's uh, the fullback, Drain, slipping through tacklers and there. reaching the 30-yard, maybe the 32-yard line. Eric Drain. BYU defense realizes they've got to stop Missouri and force them to go for a field goal. A field goal right now would not put it away. BYU could still go ahead with the touchdown. 17-14, Missouri leading. The Tigers have second and six on the BYU 27-yard line. Warren Seitz, who came in when Adler got hurt, directed the team to the go-ahead touchdown, now looking for an insurance one. And Drain goes right up the middle for about four more yards. Good power football by the Missouri Tigers. Down at the bottom for BYU, Bob Salazar for BYU. Bobby Salazar for the Cougars, making the tackle. Third down and two for Missouri. And boys, time factor now. Just over six minutes left to play in the football game. Set a man in motion to the right. Sights with the ball. Right up the middle. First down yardage. All the floor going to the right side, but Eric Drain. Jack Rabbit through there for the first down. That's his favorite move, to start to the outside and cut it back quickly to the inside. Good blocking up front that time by 76. Conrad Goody and 67 Bernard Laster open it up for him. There's a timeout on the field with 5.44 left to play in a football game. It's an official's timeout. Cougars down by three points. Jay Monson and Oren Olsen again at San Diego. Holiday ball, Missouri leading by three and threatening to score again. They have the ball deep in BYU territory. Sites at quarterback. Sites still with the football, and they met the option that time and dropped it. Bobby Salazar and Larry Hamilton for the Cougars. Also in on the stop was, was uh, Todd Shell. Superb job at trying getting Shell penetration. Fife had nowhere to go, couldn't hand it off, and had nowhere to run. They just locked him up tight. As the story in the game, BYU 
far dominant in passing and uh, Missouri dominant in rushing. Missouri second and ten on the BYU 16-yard line. Cougar defense needs to stop him now and then put something on the board. Sites with the ball, looking to throw, throws right over the middle and completes it. A very quick pass over the middle, close to the 10-yard line. But it'll be third down. Third down, and this play coming up might tell this football game. Because if the Cougars can stop them, they go for the field goal, then a touchdown could win. If they come close or get the first down and get a touchdown, it's going to be tough. For Missouri, third down and four on the BYU 10-yard line. Third and four on the 10. Here they come, splitting a man wide to the right, another to the left, man in the slot on the left side. Sites with the ball, starts the option, no, he gives it up the, uh, on the left side. BYU, a lot of men there, stopped him, but how far is the four of momentum? Barbosa, the ball carrier. Barbosa was the ball carrier. The Cougars with some good defensive action. BYU's Brandon Flint is hurt on the play. Brandon looks like he's hurt his right leg. A lot of people hurt in this game. Adler for Missouri. Uh, Brad Smith, nose guard for BYU, went out with a neck injury. Now Flint with his knee. A very physical game down there, similar to the Utah State game when a number of players were hurt. That was not a first down for Missouri. They have fourth down and one. They also have not sent their kickers in. With four minutes and 13 seconds left to play in a football game, looks like they're going to go for the first down yardage. Let's pause for a moment. We'll be right back with more from the Holiday Bowl. Brandon Flynn hurt. He's out of the game. Here's the fourth and one call. Did he make it? BYU does not think he did. The Cougars say they stopped Eric Drain. Let's see if the officials agree. Depends on where it's marked down. Now Missouri thinks they made it. BYU still saying we did not. They're going to have to measure. It's not close. Both teams think that they, uh, they came through. Brandon Flint has heard it out of the game. He was replaced by Sean Knight, a freshman. When it gets to that tough yardage, look where they went, right over to Goody's side, at number 76, their All-American tackle. Hey, they stopped him. The BYU defense stopped him. So now it's up to the offense. The defense stopped him, and with three minutes and 57 seconds to play in this football game, BYU's got to go the length of the field to win it. It's plenty of time if they can just get that passing game going. BYU has scored in lots less time than that. We've got to add it to both defenses today. Certainly do. That was a truly heroic stance down there with two of your key people out of the game to hold them on a fourth and one. BYU, first and ten on their own six-yard line. They've started inside the ten-yard line a half dozen times in this game. Young will throw on first down. Completes it to Edo. Edo's out to the 24-yard line. Mike Edo making the catch and a big first down for BYU. I believe that's Edo's first catch of the day, but what a big one it is. BYU, plenty of time in the game. First down on the 24-yard line. Hazard wide to the left. Kozlowski to the right for BYU. Young signaling something from the quarterback position. He's back to pass. They'll sack him this time. Bell got through to Steve Young. That's that weak safety blitz again coming from his blind side. Young did not see him. That's the third time, as you pointed out, that he got to him. Bobby Bell came into the game with 13 sacks for the season on similar plays. That's a big loss for BYU quarterback to the 10-yard line. So the Cougars have second and 21 back on the 11-yard line now, officially the 11. Time left, 2.53. BYU down by three points. Young to throw. He's chased out of the pocket, looking. Throws way deep. There's a man there. Edo catches it. Edo to the 45-yard line. Edo got behind everybody, and Steve Young hit him. The key to that, the blitz was on again. Steve Young was able to break away from the lifting weak safety. He got free, and that gave Edo time to get down there. Edo with another big catch. 
He saw Steve Young slip by a couple of men, and then he thumped it way downfield. So BYU with the opportunity. 240 left to play in the game, and now they've got some room where they can operate. They're on the uh, Missouri 36-yard line. They're actually getting close to field goal range, too, but I think Lavelle Edwards wants a victory, not a tie. First and 10, BYU. Young with the ball, sprinting, looking, throws back the other way, screen, Harper with the ball. Harper will not gain very much. They tried to set the screen up, gained about four. Two minutes and 10 seconds to play. The Cougars have two timeouts left. That play has been effective for BYU earlier in the season. They did pick up four yards, though, which is not bad. Second and six for the Cougars. They're on the Missouri 32-yard line. Young back to pass. Here's the pass, complete on the sideline. I don't know if he has the first down or not. I think so. Layman Hamilton. Went out of bounds. That'll stop the clock at a minute 42 to play. That's just how they draw it up on the on the board. Hamilton gets over there just enough yardage for the first down. On the sideline, just steps out of bounds to stop the clock. Is Steve Young an All-American? <laughs> Certainly he is. Consensus All-American. The best college football quarterback in the country this year. We really have to hand it to the defense, too, today. They have gotten the, the BYU Cougars out of a number of fixes today. First and 10, BYU on the Missouri 25. That's the draw, but they're watching for it. Casey Chiamalo is stopped. With a minute 36, will BYU use a timeout now? The clock running with a minute 30. BYU will call a timeout. Missouri had an all-out blitz. They're trying to get timeout. Now they get the clock stopped. Missouri had an all-out blitz on that time. A lot of people going up the middle. Had Tiamola been able to slip through a little crack there, it would have been wide open for a big gain. But there are a lot of people there, a lot of Missouri players on that line of scrimmage when he got there. Brigham Young trailing by three. It's Missouri 17. Brigham Young 14. A minute 26 left to play in a football game. The Cougars have one timeout left now, and they are second and 12 on the Missouri 27. they got to come up with a big play. They did come up with a big one just a moment ago to get out of the hole on a long pass to Edo. Question that Lavelle Edwards might be facing in a few minutes. If it did end up being fourth down, would he go for the field goal and a tie, or would he go for a touchdown? You know, we're going to have the same kind of finish we've had in every holiday bowl but one. That's right, down to a final play to see who wins it. This will be probably the lowest scoring holiday bowl overall, but it's been an exciting one. Missouri, a very good defensive team. Second down play for the Cougars. Young looking to pass. Here swings it over to Tiamato. Got by one man. He's out of the 20. He's out of the 18 yard line. Good run by Casey Tiamato. The clock running with a minute 13 to go. Third down for BYU. Third down, they need less than a yard for a first down. Casey was actually caught from behind here. Excellent job. He's trying to outrun a lineman. Look at him get the collar there, but Casey made a nice pickup. One minute to go. Now down to 53 seconds. Young back to pass, the rush is on. The ball pops free. Is that a fumble or a pass? BYU gets it anyway. Now BYU calls timeout. Big defensive play by Missouri. 37 seconds to play. Young didn't see him coming at him. Well, that's happened a number of times coming from that blind side, that weak side safety. The running backs that time should have been there to pick him up that they were going out in pass pattern. Good hit by Smith. It's going to come down to fourth and 10 for BYU at the 25-yard line with 37 seconds left to play in the game. And the Cougars called timeout, I think. That would be their last timeout. Question is, do you go for the field goal or do you go for the touchdown? A lot of talk along the sidelines. Everybody trying to decide what to do. I don't think they're even considering field goal, Lauren. Here comes BYU back on the field. The Cougars face fourth and 10 on the Missouri 25-yard line. 
That shows a lot of heart. They want the victory. They don't want to tie. Missouri 17, Brigham Young 14. And the Cougars are down to what might be their last play of the year. Hey, watch this one. Football excitement. Young says, quiet down, crowd. Young signaling something from the line of scrimmage. He's back to pass. Here's the throw. It's caught. I think it's a first down. He hit Wayman Hamilton, and Wayman is knocked out of bounds, but he made the first down. With 31 seconds to go in the ballgame. Well, what a lot of heart. LaVille Edwards showed that time. He could have very easily given up and said, let's go for the field goal and go for a tie. But no, he wanted the victory. He had confidence in Steve Young, his All-American quarterback, and Young came through. First and 10, Brigham Young on the Missouri 14-yard line, 31 seconds. But remember, time now. They've got to get the clock stopped. If they're tackled on the field, they might not get another play in the way. Running play, Stinnett to throw, throws it back to Young. Young touches the ball! They might! They do so! Seconds off the clock. 
Wow. Well, this is, uh, I, I thought the Southern Methodist game had some drama at the end, and it did. But it certainly but did. This, this game was so close all the way. And then it's not over yet. They have it's time for two or three more plays. It is not. 12 seconds remaining, and now Missouri has the ball on the Brigham Young 48-yard line. They got a first down out of that. 12 seconds left to play. Thing of Cougars need is a tackle on field. Sights back to pass. Throws it downfield. Incomplete. For Brigham Young, number 53 for the Cougars. Got up there and added the ball away. That's Kerry Whittingham. Ran a few more seconds off. Eight seconds now left in the ball game. BYU's rushing three, dropping eight. Little uh, talk after the play down there between Jim Herman and some of the Missouri Tigers. This is not a time to get a penalty. BYU has to be very careful not to get any penalties right now. Eight seconds left. It's Brigham Young 21, Missouri 17. We'll have to end our telecast very quickly uh, when the game's over, so we won't have any time to recap. But uh, BYU ahead by four. Missouri with the ball. Sights back to pass. He's throwing it deep, and it is right away again. Cougars had all kinds of players down there, but it was Todd Shell who got the hands on it. Now there are two seconds left to play. Wow. Two seconds remaining. Wow. BYU is only rushing three people. They're dropping eight people back into coverage, which is wise. They want to have lots of coverage down there. Coach Powers just called timeout. Lauren. Well, BYU had some big plays in the ball game. And uh, in this particular drive, Warren, we'll always remember the touchdown they scored to win it. But uh, one other big play was that fourth and ten call when they hit Wayman Hamilton for just the yardage they needed to keep the keep possession. That's right. On that call, B, uh, Coach Edwards could have gone for just a field goal, but no, he wanted the victory. He believed in Steve Young. And what a tremendous feeling that gives an offense and a quarterback to know that your coach believes in you enough that he'll let you go for it on fourth and ten. Credits uh, now rolling on the telecast. Again, we work with Ms. Lou and the ESPN on this telecast. We thank them for the opportunity of doing so. Orrin, I thank you for the color. Mike Hemingway here handling things for us as far as directing and setting things up. And uh, what, a, what a finish this will be for BYU. It would be the Cougars' 11th consecutive victory if they stop this play. Sykes back to pass. The rush is on. He throws it way deep. And it is intercepted by Kyle Morrell, who runs it out of bounds. And Brigham Young wins the ball game. Morrell's excited about that one. Okay, we're going to have to wrap things up quickly. There's the Bell Edwards, the senior coach. The final score in Holiday Bowl number six. Brigham Young University, 21.